Welcome to This Week at WAC. I'm Jerry Binder. I'm going to be your host for this show. And each week, we are going to be featuring some area of the, of the Whiteside Area Career Center. We are going to be live from the Digital Media Art Studios in beautiful Sterling, Illinois. And as I said, each show is going to feature a different program, but this week we're going to feature our director, the director of WACC, Paula Rademacher, who's going to give us a little bit of a um, background of her and what's led her to WACC, and also talking about our WACC program. So Paula, welcome to our first show, and tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, thank you, Jerry. Um, I think I could go even back far as when I was in high school. I actually attended the Vocational Center as a student. Uh, I grew up in Michigan and I went to the Career Center there um, and I studied in what was then called Graphic Arts, which was probably a predecessor of this program, Digital Media. Uh, back then though, we actually learned how to run printing presses, so uh, doing design and printing presses. So I guess I've always kind of had that desire for um, the, the vocational center and the career centers because I know in these kinds of programs students have the opportunity to do things that they wouldn't have the opportunity back at their home schools. The print shops changed a little bit from when you it went to It has changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier to make mistakes because you can just go over and, and redo it. Uh, but I did become a teacher uh, and I actually taught biology which I know is a long way from uh, the career center but uh, while I was t a teacher, I decided I wanted to be a counselor or go into school counseling because I really enjoyed helping students kind of figure out what they wanted to do with the rest of their lives. Uh, so as a counselor, I was able to uh, give them some direction and assistance in, in figuring out what career maybe they wanted to follow. And, the, and I just to jump in a little bit because I know as a counselor, you worked uh, with, with the folks here at WACC and I know both of us as principals uh, spent time working here and and knowing what WACC had to offer and knowing some of our kids that needed to come mm -hmm. over here but not all of them yeah. um, but then as that grows that changes and then eventually as you became principal you even became more invested in the program absolutely uh, I had the opportunity uh, a couple of years ago to join the CEO advisory board which is one of our programs here at WACC and through that I became even more involved with what was going on down here at Whiteside. And so when uh, the opportunity came to uh, become a member of the team, uh, I was more than excited you know, to have that chance. So now that I'm on this side, um, I'm you know, receiving students from all those home schools where I at once was in the past. Uh, so it's very exciting to stand in front of the bill, or in the entrance of the building every morning and watch these students walk in. They always have big old smiles on their face because they're excited to be here. They know they're going to get to come down here and do things uh, that they, you know, aren't able to do at home. So I'm so glad that we're able to provide those opportunities for them. And, and you know, as we change it, we, uh, again, when you spend time as a principal and you're worried about academics and, and what kids have to take to graduate and where they go, and now in this role as the director uh, of WACC, you have to concern yourself with what programs are we going to offer and how are we going to offer them and and you know what's in the kids best interest as they go through so talk about some of our programs and and, and what we're doing with those uh, uh, today sure we always want to try to uh, stay on the cutting edge and I think all of our programs we're always trying to revamp and, and make sure that we, we have the latest and greatest digital media arts is, is a prime example of that uh, we're always trying to uh, you know, get the most recent technology and equipment for them. Uh, so Digital Media Arts is a program where students have a wide variety of opportunities. Um, other programs that we have at WACC are the, the Health Occupations programs. We have two classes there, Allied Health and then the CNA class. Um, besides Health Oc, we have um, Building Trades where they actually go out and, you know, construct houses and work on buildings. We have our CEO program, which I mentioned briefly. Um, students interested in technology, we have computer technology class. And within that even, they can focus on uh, networking or they can do uh, computer programming. And that's changed. I mean, mm -hmm. as the computer trends change, we change that program. We've Absolutely. been looking at advanced placement now. Yes, we have, uh, for the computer programming side of it, it is actually advanced placement. Uh, computer science 
uh, so students could go ahead and take that AP test and, and maybe get credit for college. Other programs include uh, criminal justice, uh, students interested in maybe law enforcement or corrections, uh, obviously that's a good program for them. We do have a, a class called commercial, commercial food service and uh, these students actually help us here at the Career Center. Um, they cater a lot of our luncheons that we have. We do have some outside groups that come in and, and rent our, um, our conference room um, and then our, our commercial foods class would cater that event. So those of you that are watching this, you have an event coming up, you need a pretty nice venue to come to, you want your food taken care of, call Paula, she will talk to Joe, we'll get this set up and we can cater it for you. You can have the meeting over at our place and you will love it. And if you want, we'll give you a tour too. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's see, commercial foods. We've also got um, early childhood education, which uh, we do have a full functioning preschool here on site. Uh, so students interested in working with either preschool age or early childhood take that class. Uh, but also students interested in, in education in general, uh, junior high school, um, even high schools uh, teaching candidates take that class. I mentioned Health Lock. Uh, welding and manufacturing is a big program of ours. Um, our students in our welding program have uh, done very well at some of the competitions that they've participated in. In fact, this last year, uh, they took the top six spots out of ten in the uh, Midwest Technical Institute comp uh, competition. And that's just not a couple of kids. No. I mean, that's, yeah. that, that's the vocational schools, that's the career centers from all around. They get together and they have this right. big competition. Right. I think uh, one that I may have missed was auto uh, technology. We still have um, our auto classes. Uh, the students work on their own cars in there a lot of times, but we do have some community members um, and several of our own staff at WACC that uh, will have auto work on, on their vehicles um, during the day and then they can just pick them up and, and drive them home after they're done. Yeah, that's so a I, good deal. I think that covers just about all of them. As you can see, our, our point of this first show is just to let you know we've got a lot going on at WACC. The goal of our show this week at WAC is going to be feature each of those programs. Uh, later on in the year, we're going to have Paula come back and talk about how the year's going and, and the things that are happening over there. And next week, you've got to tune in because we are going to feature dig digital media arts and all the different things that we do here. So thank you. Again, rejoin us next week for This Week at WAC. Girls, I'm coming. <laughs> I got sidetracked. I'm very sorry. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for me? About an hour. Two years? Yeah. <laughs> and then wave. <laughs> Action. <laughs> the smile. <laughs>